Welcome to Black History with Mr. Dodson. Every day for the month of February, I will be highlighting a different African American who made an impact in today's society. Today, we will be learning about York. Lewis and Clark's 1804 expedition through the West from Missouri to Oregon was made easier by York, a black slave owned by Clark. York became the first African American to cross the United States from coast to coast. York was well traveled before going on the expedition. He came to Kentucky with the Clark family from Virginia in 1785. In the 1790s, he also traveled widely east of the Mississippi with William Clark. In July of 1803, Clark accepted his friend Meriwether Lewis's invitation to serve as co-commander of the Lewis and Clark expedition. York grew up on the frontier and had many of the same skills as those famous nine young men from Kentucky of the expedition. For this reason, Clark had York accompany him on the expedition, during which he did everything he was expected to do and more. Many of the American Indians he encountered had never seen a black man before. They were amazed by York and believed that he had tremendous spiritual power. One exclaimed that his dark skin inspired respect. Those who had been brave and fearless, the victorious ones in battle, painted themselves in charcoal, so the black man, they thought, had to be the bravest of the party. York became a way to ease the hostility and communication difficulties between the natives and the exploration party, which helped it succeed. After the expedition, York remained a slave for at least nine years. Some historians believe that York was later freed by Clark after they returned to St. Louis and became an Indian chief in the West while others believe he was never free and his future after the expedition remained unknown. Recognition of York is growing today. A statue of York stands at the Lewis and Clark National Historical Park in Louisville, Kentucky. And that's another influential person in American history.